Okay, after plugging the equation into uh, Desmos, it looks like we did a pretty good job. Okay, so looks like after one second, um, Dr. Fitzwhiskers in his inner tube is going to be 14 meters above the bottom of the pool. And then at nine seconds, he's going to be two meters, and then right back up to 17, 14, which is exactly uh, what we went ahead and we planned out in our sketch okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to answer the questions below all right using the calculator because we don't know how to solve trigonometric functions all that well quite yet we're going to get there so it says um what is dr fitzwhiskers height from the bottom of the pool um at 21 seconds all right so um this is how we're going to go ahead and knock that out since we know the equation already, uh, basically we're just going to put it into um, our calculator here. And we want to make sure that we're in radians, okay? Because it uh, looks like we got these guys right here um, that are going to, um, if we're in degrees, it's going to be off. And so what we want to do is, um, we said the height, okay? Because it's asking for the height. After, since this is in seconds, we're going to go h of 21. All right, so we plug 21 in for T, and we get, okay, it looks like we're going to get 8, okay? So, um, it looks like that it, after 21 seconds, so you know how I am about this, after 21 seconds, Dr. Fitzwhiskers is 8 meters above the bottom of the pool. Alright, so there's that. Now, um, and to see how this unfolds graphically, uh, we can take a look at this. Okay, so again graphically, next question here, and this one's a little bit more tricky. It says, at what times is Dr. Fitzwhiskers 10 feet? Oops, you know what? Uh, let's change that. That is a typo. Uh, 10 meters. Okay above the bottom of the pool okay and so uh, that means is that we're going to uh, do something a little bit different again I'm going to do it on Desmos and um, writing the solution might be kind of tricky like uh, for example uh, naming all the x-intercepts of the sine wave and cosine wave we're gonna have to create little functions uh, to uh, to answer this so let's get the graph going and then um, see how we do this out Okay, so what I did in Desmos is that I put in our functions. It looks like a lot uh, here at first, but it's really kind of uh, straightforward when we start to understand it. So, of course, this part right here is going to be our h of t, okay? And what I did is that I went ahead and I put in for the line that you see that's just kind of like the straight line streaking across with all the um that's intersecting that uh graph is going to be h equals 10 okay so you notice that all of these right here is when dr fitzwhiskers is 10 feet above the bottom of the pool okay so these intersections are going to be all the times in which um depending on how long that he stays in the pool, uh, is going to be the uh, the 10 meters uh, above the, the bottom of the pool there, okay? So to write this, you notice that the distances are not the same, okay? This distance is not the same as this distance, okay? And so therefore, what we need to do is that we need to take a look at, all right, well, our first instance of this guy right here. That is, is that when Dr. Fitzwhiskers is 10 feet, no, 10 meters, I keep saying feet, so if I say it again, it's meters. And the next time he is moving down is going to be right here. And the next time he is going to be moving down is right here, okay? So it looks like what is the difference in time in between each of those? And it looks like it's a plus 16 every single time, okay? And that goes on uh, forever, all right? So that said, is that the way that we're going to write that, okay? So it's asking us, and I'm gonna scroll back here, 
at what times, okay? And so we're just gonna go t equals, and we're going to use the first positive one, okay, which is going to be 4.135 seconds plus 16n, where n is an integer. Okay, so now we have to also, okay, and this is the first time that we're doing this, and t equals, and now when he is going up on the wave, which is going to start here, and you notice it's going to have the same amount, a plus 16, and the same amount that is going to go ahead and go here, a plus 16, oops, I only wrote a 6, and so therefore, we're going to take the first positive value, t equals 13.865 plus 16n, where n is an integer. Okay. And that is just basically the answer of the last problem there. I'm just not going to go ahead and cut and paste it and put it on there. So you will have to use technology for that. It's okay to use Desmos um, in the beginning, but we do want to kind of triage our self on over to the graphing calculator um, as soon as we feel comfortable with that. So um, that ends the video series on the first example. And so let's take a look at the getting the second one going.